Ooh, what's up guys, of course, welcome to another video from me, The Scavenger, and today we're actually going to do a team building team. Yeah, our team building video is probably where they go at. Um, first of all, you know, as you guys know, I never really do these kind of things, and primarily because I don't see myself being that good at building teams, but you know, it come and goes that, and um, this time I just wanted to share my thought process. And if you appreciate videos like that, then you know, I'll um, I'll consider doing this even further. You know, with move sets and stuff like that. Right now, we're just gonna do it like simple as builds, and you know, we're gonna work from that. Um, a Pokemon that I wanna really use this week is actually Electrode, and uh, we're just gonna go strong at it. Uh, Cerebi is an excellent uh, channel, or if you wanna check things out. So uh, yeah, if you just go by it. Yeah, there's Electrode. And like I said, I want to create a rain dance team. So that means that uh, actually Electro is quite a nice rain dancer in the lower tiers of NU and PU if you want to go so far. Now, we have two things to consider here. We even have, even have the aftermath on Electro. Um, it could work in its favor. But for this build, I'm going to actually have the soundproof. And that is actually only to deal with both. Uh, Vivillion to some fashion, but uh, actually the main idea is to not get hit by boom burst from a shot -ups. So that's the focus. Um, the thing that is a little bit of an issue with Electrode is that we it does have some decent bulk in it, both 70 in defenses and 80 in special defenses, and the speed of course, so they will definitely have the priority of setting up. And um, yeah, that's good and all, but it does lack um, well, you just like the, what do you call it, the, the move pool to kind of stand on its own, so what I do recommend is Hidden Power, Water, uh, Rain Dance, actually go so far and say Thunder, even T-Wave if you want that, you definitely need Volt Switch, Volt Switch just to switch out the main sweepers or walls really, so we're gonna do it like this, this is by the way the Magma build, I'm gonna link that down below, this is a channel I do use, so we're gonna write down Electrode, Make sure that you go <laughs> actually down and up because you'll get a you know fixed layer of stuff here that's gonna stand here. So we're gonna get first of all our free resistances, and then we're gonna get one the one that is stationary, of course, is the ground. So we have two choices here. Are we gonna deal with the ground? And if so, um gonna do like this. I'll actually I rather want something that could stop the hazard. So I would have gone for Sawtu here, and defensive Sawtu, um, it has the ability to force wall the ground, and um, defensive Sawtu is actually kind of hard to deal with. Yeah, so we're going to do flying, yes. Like I said, this is basically just me rambling a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but it's going to work, it's going to work. Um, like I said, Sawtu, I'm, I'm close now, there we are. No, it's not too. Sawtu. Like I said, Sawtu is... Um, actually very good. I really like the Magic Bounce version of Sawtu, just to really, really, since since um, Electro has the ability to actually Volt Switch out, it can Volt Switch to Sawtu in case of uh, a setup move is gonna come, and with Hidden Power Water, it can actually do the Spree from taking out uh, Pokemon that is probably a stop on setup. But it also, if it isn't available to do so, then Volt Switch out to Sawtu. It's a good choice, so Sato is going to join this team. And now we're going to get more resistances and issues. And we're going to get a light red here. And what that means is basically that it still is kind of balanced due to we have one immunity. So if you get light red colors, that means that this is under control. And now we have four more issues. And uh, we're going to, one of those are rocks. And the other one is Ghost. Ghost is kind of hard to deal with and um, not that common in any actually. We got the Ice issue and we got the uh, Dark issue. Now, the next Pokemon we're gonna choose is Swift Swimmers. Swift Swimmers is the reason you set up a rain team in the first place, anyway. So, I already have my Swift Swim. Yeah, I'm probably gonna push that thing real fast. But <laughs> already a lot of good Swift Swimmers. So, I really wanna use Capitops. So it's kind of close here, so we don't have to scroll too long. There we go. Capitops is one of those really one of the better uh, Swift Swim um, Pokemon. We're gonna do it like this too. We can say, see, 
which uh, Swift swimmers will have on um, in the tier. And um, you actually have, if you want to use it, we can actually use Seeking as a potential Swift swimmer, which would have been kind of cool to use. So that's not a ball part actually. And we also get Cedra, which no, Horsey, Horsey has Swiss with people. I had no idea. And then, <laughs> never mind, Magikarp, we use Magikarp too. But yeah, like I said, the Cabrizops has it, Manton actually has that. Um, Kingdra, why doesn't Cedra have that? Wait, I just have to check this out. What the hell? What does Cedra get? Is Poison Point or anything like that, maybe? I think so, I think so. Ah, that's a shame. That's a shame, though. Alright, screw that. Cedar would have been awesome to use. But yeah, Seeking is one used Pokemon. Capitops is, due to its high, high attack and speed, it works better. But there is a lot of good Swift Swim Pokemon. Even Ludicolo is a great one to use. Huntail, Orbis, Relicant. You know, we got them. A lot of good Swift Swim Pokemon. And, um, Saddle will lost Sesmetoad. Sesmetoad is probably my favorite one. And we've got the hidden ability with Armaldo, and uh, yeah, looking at this, we actually have Pokemon that could use it fairly well. And uh, I'll say like this, like, if you choose Armaldo, then Seeking could probably be a good Pokemon to have with that. And um, I'm not gonna go and strive so far, one Sweeper seems fine. Or actually, we should put in Lodicolo just for our special offense uh, outspeeding Pokemon. So we're gonna do that. Cab boot offs. Here we go. We're gonna get a lot of issues now because we have two Pokemon that are water. Uh, we got a very good balance here on the resistance side. We get still got four, a few four choices more. So the rock is still an issue, and just that is actually something we need to fix um, because rocks is common. We got the bug issue. Bug is not as prominent. But we've got, of course, got something that is, uh, yeah, grass is of course an issue. We've got one that resists that, probably one more to actually be able to wall it properly. And uh, dark is still an issue, of course. So what should we do? A fairy type would help out a lot here. Um, would help, you know, intimidating and actually pack the, hmm, I wonder, should we put Gramble here? How much does Gramble help out? Mm, yeah, it made a change. It made definitely made a change. Gravel would have been really good. Let's see, we got one, two, three special attackers, so we need one more that could wall. And um, still the rock issue, like I said, rocks is important to fix. So we need a ground type. But that will leave us open for grass. And grass is never fun. Uh, decisions, decisions. And two Pokemon that we to electrics we really need a grass type or a ground type. A ground type will help us out a lot. So we need a ground type that could work in that environment. Might not stick to. Uh, we might not actually stick to the. Ooh, the Gramble might actually ditch him. As we may, it seems like we are forced to do so. You know what? How often do you see seeking? We gotta do seeking here. I don't care. Seeking with Lightning Rod. So we're gonna do that. Selectability of Lightning Rod. But then we don't get to Swift Swim. That's actually kind of bad. We get some major resistances though. But yeah, that actually won't work when you kept it up, so I'm sorry. Oof. Seeking made this, game, <laughs> made this team really good though. Um, like I said, we actually need to. We're actually gonna ditch Gramble. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, ground type is our next focus. Um, ground types with hydration would be great, so we got Wishcast for that. Um, Wishcast would work really well. We're just gonna go to ground types and um, we're gonna go to him directly, really. See if he has anything else that could actually work. He's oblivious, though, so who knows? <laughs> like hydration is a very good ability if you just wanna this means that this thing could be kind of wally maybe set up stealth frogs with a bit of luck I'm actually just gonna see which Pokemon has the hydration uh, we got Fiona of course which I can use Excelgor is not longer that tier 
And of course we got, uh, yeah, we got Sligo. Sligo is kind of good though. Yeah. Sligo with hydration. Because that could mean that it's potentially a setup Pokemon for more rain. And Sligo got some decent special defensive bulk and, you know, some acceptable special attack. Um, not that defensive, but, you know, it has few good moves. You can utilize water pulls from this environment. And dark dragon pulls, of course, and then you know, even shockwave. Why, why, why do you have shockwave? But yeah, you can also learn curse, Draco. It, it actually packs a Draco even at that stage. You know, slash bomb, slash wave. Uh, yeah, I can see this Pokemon being a good filler. I would definitely make this Pokemon a bit more aggressive. That is, I will actually max its special attack with this. Um, so we're gonna put Sligo here, Sligo hydration. So yeah, we still have... Wow! That actually did not help as much as I hoped for. Because I still need a ground type. Um, I really like to use Wish Gas. Because <laughs> nobody uses it. Um, I just want to check it out if it learns Stealth Rocks. Or um, can... No! No Stealth Rocks for you. That's bad. It also is on that area, would I say. It is acceptable in this attack. It's more chunky. Uh, does lack the speed. Could take a few hits. Has access to Earth Power. Which is kind of acceptable. Earth Power, Cat Scald, maybe. Um, there, Cat All Scald. Yes, there it is. So it could be a good defensive Pokemon. Focus heavily on Walling. Uh, Ice Beam Scald. Uh, rest to kind of actually scald up power should be fine and then have some potential rain that's going so we're gonna ditch Sligo I guess we're gonna sell for wish cash because it's so cool so right so now we have actually as you guys can see here a lot of good things to go in the bugs is ripping through our teams and so is ghost and uh, we also have a major weakness still to grass so, we need to fix that, and the only way I can see that is to bring a Pokemon with Sap Zipper, and that will leave us open to eyes, but at the same time I have Cabotops that can wall that, and a few bulky Pokemon that can deal with that, which catch could be one of them depending on the sets I'm making. Uh, so I know that Sligo, since we already brought him up here, that it has Sap Zipper. So we can just borrow him to, you know, list the Sap Zippers. Got Bufflant. Bufflant would work well because that brings immunity to uh, the Ghost type. I think that also goes for, um, ooh, what do you call him? The Deerling Pokemon. It's not called Deerling. Oh, that's Staffler too. That's cool. Um, all right, Substrika. Huh. That could work, but that was not what I think about. Where is it? There! Of course, Saucebuck! Saucebuck would be a major player due to its coverage. Life Orb and it's fast. It could be a potential... Yeah, Saucebuck could be really nice to use here. Saucebuck, Stantler, but Stantler is probably not packing enough punch. I mean, I like Stantler and all, but... but maybe not that much. Um, Simstrika is also great. Um, we're actually just gonna put him here, uh, Sauce Buck. So yeah, this is not as balanced as I was hoping for, but um, we got the immunities, we got some balance. This team is weak to bug, and that is something I have to deal with. Um, so I guess Vivlion is really, really liking this team. Um, I guess one thing you could make if you want to is um, actually bring in, if you ditch Sotu and bring a Pokemon like, let's say Biblion for example, then it will actually get more balance, the rocks will still kind of fall out, but um, it has some good about it too, so Biblion as a bug Pokemon could kind of help out, maybe a bulkier bug type like Pinsir. Um, since the rain is helping it out, we put Pinsir here, we should get some more balance too. Um, maybe not as much as I was hoping for. Hey. Let's see, yeah. I guess we set, I would have settled for Sotu. 
So this is this is the closest balance team I can make, and uh, you know we can probably do a few fixes. Really, I guess one fix that could really stand out is actually ditching Ludicolo. Uh, I think Ludicolo is not really helping. So if I would done if I ditch him, we're getting some. We can deal with some major issue. The grass typing is something I have to deal with. Uh, let's see, ice, steel, like cling clang, for example. Come on. Doesn't it call that? Oh, I think I wrote King Clan. We're putting Kling Clan here, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Um, if anybody says fighting is an issue, I say yes. <laughs> Dark type is also an issue, but like I said, not that common. Um, oh, so I spoke my. Damn, the normal type it might be screwing me over a bit. Might be. Uh, but yeah, this is actually the closest we get. And like I said, I haven't really got into the details on you know, which moves and stuff like that, but this is actually quite a balanced rain dance team. We have two potential range setters of Wish Gas and Electro. Electro gonna have Damp Rock. And then Kabatov can come in, rip through. And when that isn't working, he can escape back to um, Wish Cash, which is a special setter. But if the Pokemon wants to use Grass type, the Source would come in. Getting that step super go in and actually retaliate with Mega Horn and whatnot. So um, yeah, that is something that you know there are like steady walls here. Um, Earthquake hurts this team, but Sato can come in on it, and um, just overall this is something that could really work. Uh, Sato is of course eating up. Actually, we can't get soaked. <laughs> so that's a thing though. Salt can really come in and screw this bin over. Like I said, defensive Sato is a good response, max HP and max defense. It can actually eat up a lot of damage, even a knockup can pro provide, so that is something I recommend. So you are not able to, um, you're really not able to sack Sato in this team. If Sato goes down, then you need to go to Electrode. A max speed Electrode outspeeds a Scarfed, um, a Scarfed Sock, so um, we can definitely set up the rain. And come back in with Cavitop. Plus, we got the priority with Cavitop with Opera Jets. So, that is something that's gonna work. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you get you good use of this um, this way of really working with team building. Like I said, I don't do this a lot, and uh, this is something I just want to share with you guys that if I if I was to create a team, that this would definitely be my thought process. And these two pages I juggle between. And um, I think it's great because I think it's good to see, you know, physically the biggest issue for a team. A ghost type, for example, would have helped this team immensely if you want to use that. But um, there is a price to pay to do that. Like, we can do, I'm just gonna show you guys because this could probably be a solution. Like I said, just sitting and, you know, doing this, you realize the Gore Geist is the way superior Pokemon. It doesn't have the Sap Zipper. But there we go. That solved the issue. That, um, we're now two Pokemon weak to Ghost, but who the hell cares? Like I said, Ghost is not that common. Um, one steady fix would actually be to bring in any flying type, so let's put two three over here. And you guys are gonna see magic. There we go. <laughs> so the only big issue left now is grass, and um, yeah, we can deal with that. We have two Pokemon resisted to it. So yeah, like I said, we got now Gore Guys, Whisk Guys, Clink Clang. Cavitops, Dudrio, um, any normal flying type really, and Electrode. Um, so, and you might think, yo, we need a spinner, and uh, Cavitops learn Raptor Spin, so that's kind of works in our favor. So, anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's basically, it's, it's worth doing stuff like this, and you know, just watching and you know, get a feeling for it. Um, this is, like I said, a very, very balanced team. I'll even go so far as that it's probably one of my best creations so far. So I want to thank you for watching as always, you know, leave a like and stuff like that. And if you want to see some more like this in the future, um, even so, you know, recommend me teams or no god away. If you want to see a specific team, you want to see how to build that, uh, hit me up and, you know, I can definitely do that. I think we clocked in in like 20 minutes because I'm just stalling for time. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this anyway. So I want to thank you all for watching, of course. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Till then, take care, guys. Bye.